how's it going? Welcome to episode 358 from Aspie with Attitude. To introduce myself, my name is David, I'm from Melbourne, Australia. I have autism, Asperger's Syndrome, and that's why I call myself an Aspie. And it has been for a while, I guess, since I've done the multiple fidget spin trick there. So anyway, I think I'm going to stop all this now and just really get into the content. Well, for starters, I'd just like to take a challenge to take less than six minutes perhaps. So maybe for more than 10 minutes I'll be doing this video. Since I'm going to think this from the top of my head, just kind of like freestyling, which I want to talk about. Whoever makes the loudest noise and have the biggest voice, or the biggest voice of the loudest noise, which everyone going to say, they're always the one that gets what they want. That's why I actually really explain this. For instance, like I did explain back in episode 178, something I uploaded on the 1st of June 2021, Toxic Autism Advocacy, which we can start off with. The uh, reason why I've pulled away from autism advocacy and this autistic rights thing is all because, like, it's all about whoever makes the biggest noise and the loudest voice. They're always the ones that get heard. They're always the one that pretty much that someone will look up to. Even if one autistic advocate is actually misinforming or what. It's almost like a battlefield. Yes, yeah, some autism advocates could also be misinforming what it means to be autistic. And there's been cases that people will pretend to be autistic. Or for instance, like with Autism Speaks, if you remember this pretty much half a decade ago, uh, something I've been ignoring, something you probably haven't heard for a very, very long time. So I'll put this all behind me. Something I may not have mentioned since I was talking about Mark Rober back in 2021. I think it was something that I did for episode 173. When I did talk about when Mark Rober did the Colour of the Spectrum. So I like I put that all that behind me then. That's just a whole problem when you're an autism advocate. Yeah. So I just rather just done my own thing. And pretty much in a new typical different society, one example is recently the 2024 Paris Olympic Games where they did bring the break dancing. And I can't remember who actually won the gold medal or any medals that were won in the female division in the break dancing. It's just hard to remember. What really happened was there was a strategy that was done by Ray Gunn. She had the loudest voice and made the biggest noise. First off, like, she just kind of didn't break dance at all. Just had a bit of a rave. Did a kangaroo hop, just like if they were bringing hopscotch into the Olympics instead of break dancing. Or well, everyone actually knows the story with this Australian female break dancer, Rachel Gunn, nicknamed Ray Gunn. The trick of just sort of her going viral over the internet and over her social media is I reckon it was rigged, she gaslighted the breakdancing event in the end she just makes the biggest noise and has the loudest voice and she gets all the attention she wanted so many people had looked down upon her, trolled her and cyber bullied her which was actually being criticised that Oh, that's not breakdancing. Well, to me, that was actually raving. And as I said in this video, which is called Ray Gun Explained on my other channel, which is for Fubex, the Australian Hip Hop Veteran. Well, that's who I am. I've only ever described her being a disappointment, making a fool out of herself in Paris, representing Australia. And I've described her breakdance routine as Dingo's Breakfast. Well, anyway. That's what's happened in my country. Currently now, that at the time me filmed this video on the 26th of August 2024, I know there's a presidential race that's happening in the United States of America, and it's all about a competition. Whoever has the loudest noise, makes the biggest voice, will win the presidential election, and it depends who's next. 
at that time it was Kamala Harris and the other one Donald Trump and Donald Trump's trying to make the biggest noise and well Kamala Harris is trying to have the loudest noise anyway that's all it's about whichever candidate can make the biggest noise and have the loudest voice are ones that's going to get all vote so that's what's happening in America right now I see that Joe Biden decided just to step down from all sorts of things. This is talking about American politics there. And I don't know who's going to win the election. Right now, this is a heated debate. It's up to the American voters to decide on who wins the election. So, like, let's move away from politics just to sort of keep away from the Olympics. Just to give the example what it is to make the loudest voice and have the biggest noise or the biggest noise and the loudest voice kind of vice versa so anyway so like I've had enough talking for episode 358 just to give you a clear example what I mean by all that if you like what I'm doing here please why not subscribe to Ask Me For Attitude that's all I ever ask for in terms of support and also, don't forget to please ring this notification bell if you want to keep up to date with Aspie for Attitude. And also, please don't forget to like and share this video content around. That way, you show more support for this channel. So, there it is. Yeah, that's something I'll just try and do. I'll try the multiple fidget spinner trick. So, like, I've just started off with my nose. So, I'll get this spinning. Oh, dudes. Dudes, perfect. So, anyway, peace for watching. Peace for listening to Aspie for Attitude. You know, peace and respect. And see you next time. You actually got this flying around like flying drones. So, that's how I like to finish it off. And peace.